Surgical solutions, gallstone removal are you or a loved one grappling with the challenges of gallstones? Don't let the complexity of surgical options overwhelm you. In this enlightening video, we unravel the mysteries surrounding gallstone removal surgeries, equipping you with the, the knowledge and confidence needed to make informed healthcare decisions. Join us on this captivating journey as we explore the diverse array of surgical approaches, uncovering effective solutions to alleviate pain and prevent further complications. And stick around till the end for a special bonus segment on optimizing pre- and post-surgery nutrition, what to eat for enhanced recovery. Your path to gallstone relief starts here. Embark on an eye-opening journey as we uncover the diverse spectrum of surgical approaches available. 1. Cholecystectomy Laparoscopic Cholecystectomy Laparoscopic cholecystectomy stands as the gold standard in modern medicine for gallstone removal. This minimally invasive procedure involves making small incisions in the abdomen, through which specialized instruments and a tiny camera laparoscope are inserted. The surgeon then meticulously dissects and removes the gallbladder. Compared to traditional open surgery, laparoscopic cholecystectomy offers several advantages. Firstly, it boasts shorter recovery times, allowing patients to return to their daily activities more swiftly. Additionally, patients often experience less post-operative pain compared to open surgery, contributing to a more comfortable recovery process. Furthermore, laparoscopic cholecystectomy is associated with a reduced risk of complications, making it a preferred option for many patients. Open cholecystectomy. In cases where laparoscopic surgery is deemed unfeasible or unsafe, open cholecystectomy may be recommended. This approach involves making a larger incision in the abdomen to access and remove the gallbladder. While open surgery allows for better visualization and control of the surgical field, it typically entails a longer recovery period and carries an increased risk of complications compared to laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Ultimately, the choice between laparoscopic and open cholecystectomy depends on various factors, including the patient's medical history, the severity of gallbladder disease, and the surgeon's expertise. Two endoscopic procedures Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancrophagy or when gallstones have migrated into the bile ducts, Endoscopic rerograd cholangiopancrophagy or emerges as a pivotal intervention. This procedure combines endoscopy with advanced imaging techniques to diagnose and treat bile duct disorders. During ERP, an endoscope equipped with a camera and specialized tools is carefully guided through the mouth, down the esophagus, and into the stomach and duodenum. Once positioned in the duodenum, the endoscope can access the opening of the bile ducts. Using fluoroscopy, a type of X-ray imaging, the surgeon navigates the endoscope into the bile ducts, enabling visualization of any stones or blockages. Stones within the bile ducts can then be extracted using specialized instruments passed through the endoscope. Alternatively, stones may be fragmented using techniques such as laser lithotripsy or electrohydraulic lithotripsy. Percutaneous transhepatic cholangiography PTC. In cases where a caper is not feasible or unsuccessful, Percutaneous transhepatic cholangiography PTC provides an alternative approach for managing bile duct stones. This procedure involves accessing the bile ducts through the skin percutaneously rather than through the mouth. Under fluoroscopic guidance, a needle is inserted through the skin and into the liver, allowing direct access to the bile ducts. Contrast dye is injected through the needle, outlining the bile ducts and identifying any stones or blockages. Once the location of the stones is determined, specialized instruments may be passed through the needle to remove or fragment the stones. PTC is typically reserved for cases where ERP is contraindicated or unsuccessful, such as when the anatomy of the bile ducts is challenging or when there are strictures or obstructions preventing passage of the endoscope. While PTC is considered a more invasive procedure compared to ERP, it can be an effective option for managing complex bile duct stones and restoring biliary drainage. 3. Gallstone Dissolution Oral Dissolution Therapy For individuals with small cholesterol gallstones, oral dissolution therapy presents a non-invasive alternative to surgical interventions. This approach involves the administration of medications containing bile acids, which work to dissolve gallstones gradually over time. The primary mechanism involves increasing the solubility of cholesterol in bile, thereby facilitating the breakdown and elimination of gallstones. While oral dissolution therapy can be effective for select patients, its use is typically reserved for cases where surgical intervention is not feasible or preferred. 
It's important to note that this approach is most successful with small cholesterol stones and may not be suitable for other types of gallstones, such as pigment stones or large stones. Despite its potential benefits, oral dissolution therapy has several limitations. Firstly, it may take months or even years to achieve complete dissolution of gallstones, requiring long-term adherence to medication regimens. Additionally, the efficacy of this approach can vary, with some patients experiencing only partial dissolution or recurrence of stones after treatment completion. Due to these factors, oral dissolution therapy is not as commonly used as surgical interventions for gallstone management. Close monitoring and regular follow-up with healthcare providers are essential to assess treatment response and ensure optimal outcomes. Each surgical option for gallstone removal carries its own benefits, risks, and considerations. The choice of procedure depends on factors such as the size and location of the gallstones, the patient's overall health, and the preferences of the surgical team. By discussing available options with a healthcare provider, individuals can make informed decisions regarding the most appropriate course of action to address their gallstone-related concerns. Now that we've explored surgical solutions for gallstone removal, let's shift our focus to an often overlooked aspect of the recovery process, nutrition. In our bonus section, optimizing pre- and post-surgery nutrition, what to eat for enhanced recovery, we'll uncover the power of food in promoting healing and vitality. So grab a seat and get ready to discover the delicious and nutritious foods that can support your body before and after surgery, ensuring a smoother and speedier recovery process. Here's a guide to the foods you should include in your diet just before and after surgery pre. Surgery Nutrition, Setting the Stage for Successful Recovery 1. Lean Protein Prior to surgery, prioritize lean protein. Sources to support tissue repair and wound. Healing, incorporating foods such as grilled chicken breast, salmon, tofu, and lentils into your meals provides the necessary amino acids for optimal recovery. These lean protein sources are not only rich in protein but also low in saturated fats, making them ideal choices to promote healing without adding unnecessary stress to the body. To complex carbohydrates, opt for complex carbohydrates to provide sustained energy and stabilize blood sugar levels leading up to surgery. Whole grains like quinoa, brown rice, and oats, along with fruits and vegetables, are excellent sources of complex carbohydrates. 3. Healthy Fats Including sources of healthy fats in your pre-surgery diet provides essential fatty acids that support immune function and reduce inflammation, laying the groundwork for a smoother recovery process. Avocado, nuts, seeds, and olive oil are rich in monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, which have been shown to have protective effects on the body. Adding a drizzle of olive oil to salads, snacking on a handful of almonds, or incorporating avocado into meals are easy ways to incorporate healthy fats into your diet. 4. Hydration Proper hydration is paramount in the days leading up to surgery to maintain blood volume and support circulation. Aim to drink plenty of water throughout the day and consume hydrating foods like fruits and vegetables, which have high water content. Herbal teas and broths can also contribute to hydration levels. Adequate hydration ensures that your body is well prepared for the demands of surgery and facilitates optimal recovery afterward. By focusing on a well-rounded pre-surgery diet that includes lean protein, complex carbohydrates, healthy fats, and ample hydration, you provide your body with the essential nutrients and hydration needed to support tissue repair, immune function, and overall well-being. These dietary choices set the stage for a successful surgery and promote a smoother recovery process, ultimately enhancing your overall health outcome. Post-surgery nutrition, nourishing your body for recovery. 1. Protein-rich foods. After surgery, focus on incorporating protein-rich foods into your diet to support tissue repair and recovery. Options such as eggs, yogurt, cottage cheese, and protein shakes provide high-quality protein that is easily digestible and gentle on the stomach. Including protein in your meals and snacks helps rebuild muscle tissue, promote wound healing, and support overall recovery. 2. Fruits and Vegetables Enhance your post-surgery diet with a colorful array of fruits and vegetables, which are rich in essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. These nutrients play crucial roles in immune function and reducing inflammation, aiding in the healing process. Aim to include a variety of fruits and vegetables in your meals to maximize nutrient intake and support your body's recovery efforts. 3. Fiber 
Choose high fiber foods to support digestive health and prevent constipation, a common issue after surgery. Whole grains, beans, fruits, and vegetables are excellent sources of dietary fiber that promote regular bowel movements and alleviate discomfort. 4. Omega-3 Fatty Acids Incorporate sources of omega-3 fatty acids into your post-surgery diet to harness their anti-inflammatory properties and promote healing. Fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines, as well as plant-based sources like flaxseeds and walnuts, are rich in omega-3s. 5. Hydration Continue to prioritize hydration after surgery by drinking water regularly and consuming hydrating foods. Soups, smoothies, and water-rich fruits like watermelon and cucumbers are excellent options to maintain hydration levels and support overall recovery. Adequate hydration is essential for wound healing, flushing out toxins, and maintaining optimal bodily functions, so be sure to drink plenty of fluids throughout the day. These dietary choices nourish your body from within supporting optimal recovery and restoring vitality after surgery. It's important to follow any specific dietary guidelines provided by your healthcare team before and after surgery. Additionally, listen to your body and eat foods that are easy to digest and well tolerated. By focusing on nutrient-rich foods that support healing and recovery, you can optimize your nutrition before and after surgery and promote a smoother recovery process. Please consider giving us a thumbs up sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness with the key to vitality in your hands.